I'm going to tell you right now who the top offenses and defenses in the game are going to be. You don't need to wait till tomorrow. I'm telling you right now. Before we get to that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. College football every single day. It feels like right now we're talking college football twi- or college football 25 rather uh, nearly every single day. So dial in. Be a part of this. We appreciate you for that. Also, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at JD Pakel. Let me know who you think will be the top offense and or defense in this game. I'm an offensive guy. That's kind of my, uh, my background. So let's start on the offensive side of the ball. I think the best offense, uh, let's go, we'll go four or five-ish range, work our way up to number one. I think Oregon, I think Oregon's going to be the fifth best offense in the game. I mentioned Dylan Gabriel. I'm super high on him. I think Evan Stewart might be one of the best receivers in the game. Tess Johnson was a thousand yard receiver. I think there might be some, uh, some, what's the right word? I think there's some uncertainty, maybe for the people making the game, as to what they're going to have in that backfield, which is fair. Oregon might have two of the best tackles in this game, offensively, between a Johnny Cornelius and Josh Connerly. So, Oregon, I think they're going to be a top five offense in the game. I was super close to putting them at four in this. I thought about it, even as we were saying it out loud. I was like, man, are they four? Are they five? I think it's a coin flip. However you slice it, uh, I'll go ahead and put Ole Miss at four. I'm super high on Jackson Dart. You could also make the argument that Jackson Dart being comfortable in this system maybe bodes well for his status in the video game. I don't know how much that'll translate when it comes to guys at new destinations and their, I guess, level of uh, acclimation in the system. So I'll put Ole Miss at, at four. Big part of this, though, Trey Harris and Juice Wells and that system. Love it. They're going to be a top five offense in my mind without a doubt. So Oregon and Ole Miss, however you slice it, four and five, five and four, whatever you want there, I think those are two of the top five offenses in the game. Now, this is where it gets tricky. This top three, I think you could also shuffle around quite a bit. I have Ohio State as the third best offense in the game. Will Howard is probably the biggest question mark. I don't know what they're going to rate him if he's like, is he a 91 is he an 84? Like, I have no idea. I have no idea how you rate him in this game. But I will say this. Ohio State will have the best wide receiver core in this game, and they will have the best backfield in this game. The offensive line, not a question mark, so much as a, like, we'll see what they are kind of situation. We'll see how they're rated in this game. But Ohio State, they will be a top three offense. I wouldn't be shocked if they're higher, but I'll go ahead and put them at three. Georgia is going to be the second best offense in this game. They have a case to be, I think, even higher than that. To me, though, Carson Beck will be one of, if not the best quarterback in this game. I think he'll be the second best quarterback in this game based on EA Sports and how they do. I would imagine the cover athlete probably has to be the best quarterback in the game. That would make sense to me. The trenches is just what's going to be filthy for, for Georgia, man. Like, that's going to be the, the end-all, be-all. Like, you, I think, in this game will be able to run inside zone, power left, power right, counter like you can do that all the way down the field stamina permitting like Georgia's trench play will be filthy I wouldn't be shocked if they have the best offensive line in this game but with that all being said I'll go ahead and put them at two now Texas I think will have the best offense in this game I love what they did via the transfer portal I think Isaiah Bond will have a 92 plus kind of speed on this game Quinn Ewers I think what I just alluded to before with being the cover athlete you probably have to make him the best quarterback in the game. I don't have an issue with that if you're EA Sports and that's the way you want to go about it. Offensive line also should be really solid. Bring back four or five starters, so they probably should rate them accordingly in the game as well. C.J. Baxter, got to see a preview of the movie, what he's going to be in 2024 last season. So all in all, like you check a lot of boxes in Steve Sarkeesian's offense and the scheme in itself. They're going to be really, really good offensively. So to recap it for you, 5-1 to one here. Oregon at five, Ole Miss at four. I could flip either one of those. I'm not mad if you have it flipped. Uh, I'll put Ohio State at three for the best offense in the game. Georgia, the second best offense in the game. And Texas as the best offense in college football 2025. So that's the offense. That is the offense. Let's go to the defensive side of things now. This is tough at five, man. Like I, I, I really, I go, even as we're talking about this on the air, I'm thinking about flipping this, but I'll stick to my script here. I'm going to go ahead and put Penn State at five. I have Penn State at five. Abdul Carter is a freak show. You have a new DC. Manny Diaz is now the head coach at Duke. Took a Cornell guy, I think, actually, as well, via the transfer portal. So, shouts out to Duke for that. But uh, Tom Allen's going to be a great DC. I don't have any questions there. You lose a little bit in the secondary is maybe why I don't have them higher. If we ran this back last year, Penn State might be 
gosh, on on college football 25 terms, it might be the second best defense in the game. Maybe the best. I'll have them at five for this. At number four, I'll put Notre Dame. Marcus Freeman's the head coach. It's a Marcus Freeman defense. You bring back arguably a top three, top two corner in the game in Ben Morrison. I think he will translate to that in the game as well. Xavier Watts, one of the best safeties in college football. So Notre Dame at four, that feels like a safe play to me. Four or five again. Same thing with the offense. I could see either one. Michigan, I think, will be at three. You're saying Michigan, J.D., they lose a ton on defense. Yeah, I feel that same way. But as I break this down from a college football 25 perspective, I think they have a chance to have like three of the top 10 to 15 defensive players in the game. From Kenneth Grant and Mason Graham on the defensive line and Will Johnson, I think, is the best corner in college football. I think there's a chance that they are a top three defense. I think there's a chance that all three of those players are plus 90 overall. So if you have all three of those players at a 90 or more rating, I think that qualifies you for a top three defense. Georgia should be the second best defense. Line of scrimmage play, what we said about the offense is true. Just a bunch of freak shows up there. Michael Williams probably in that discussion for being like 95 plus overall. Linebacker plays ridiculous. What we said about Notre Dame is also true about Georgia, probably even more emphatically. The head coach does defense. It's a Kirby Smart defense, all right? So we'll go ahead and put them at two. And at number one, based on returning production and based on going out and snagging the best player in the transfer portal, it's Ohio State. They brought back everybody and their mama, and they went out and got Caleb Downs from Alabama. I don't think this needs to be a major discussion. I think their scheme, too, on this game will be super fun to play with. Jim Knowles being the mad scientist that he is, that'll be a lot of fun to kind of dial up different blitzes and different coverages and try and get your buddy off his game. But I think Ohio State will be the best when it comes to the uh, the defensive side of the ball in college football 25. So to recap it on defense, I got Penn State at five, Notre Dame at four, Michigan at three, Georgia at two, and the Ohio State Buckeyes as the best defense in college football 2025. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.